Hey, what's up everyone? This is Kramon and we are back for the Siege Battle video. So, I didn't really get to play properly on the first match. Basically, I only did like 4-5 swords, so we can't make a video on it. This time, we are up against Reunion and Saw. So, let's take a look at the rankings first, real quick. Mm-hmm, where are they? Further down. Okay, rank 14, Saw. So they won their first fight as well as Reunion. Uh, both of them having the same points. We'll take a look at the defenses on Reunion side. Chosa, Beta, Fukis. Pretty interesting. Nana, Iris, Tiomas. Yeah, this one is like pretty standard. And their middle tower 10, it's the LD tower. Well, they have quite a lot of good LDs here. On the other hand, Saw is running Kakano Chilling Trianas. Kinda old school meta already at this point. Of course, the Molo Molly Savannas, we can't run away from this one. <laughs> and the Tower 10, some Fermion, Sylvia. Yeah, I assume this one is an LD Tower. We'll be up against the Nana Iris and Teomars, and we'll be bringing in our safest lineup against it the Jean, Leo, and Diana. I think you can also run Annabelle, probably quite safe as well. So we are just gonna nuke the shit out of the Teomars. Let's go for it. Transform into the inevitable wound. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get the strip on the Endear buff. Nice additional proc though. So whenever Diana gets a proc, we are able to use the human form Pew Pew again. Come on, can we stun the Teomars this time? Oh, beautiful. Teomars is dead. For our next fight, we'll be up against the Molong, Wusa, and Perna. So this one, we can just cleave it, no issues, as long as we land our armor break. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not sure whether we can win. Oh shit. Okay, Molong dies. Can we silence? Thanks. We needed the silence under the Wusa, very important. Now, oh, two turns sleep? Yo! Thankfully, the Wusa didn't proc. Alright. Let's continue working on to this Wusa. Armor break. Oh, now the Wish of Immortality is up. We can't use our Maelstrom yet. And we don't have the... Strip. We lost our Tiana already. Damn it! Huh, I think we lose! <laughs> oh god! Galleon! I swear to god this unit is like... Fucking me up every time, you know? Come on, at least kill off the Perna. Now can we silence this guy? Push back? Two turns sleep again? What nonsense is this? <laughs> Yo! Poseidon died! <sighs> yeah, I think we just leave. GG. Okay, okay, let's focus on the remainder of our fights. We'll be facing up against the Nana, Molly, and Teomar. So, it's not the Iris in that slot. So Molly doesn't really provide much, apart from stalling the defense. Trying to buy time for the Teomas, right? And then we have our Destroy Fingen in play. Our goal here is just to kill off the Teomas twice, and I think we should be Gucci from there, because once it's left the Nana and Molly, they do not really have damage output. We already propped the Endear buff here. Very nice, no provoke though. Thankfully, no armor break. We don't really need to cleanse, so we just go for the normal attack. Play some heals. And let's continue working on to this Teomars, very important. And like I said, once you bring down the Teomars, it's a definite win. It just takes time. Uh, because yeah, Molly is there to just stall the defense. Wasting our time. <laughs> That's the reason why I really hate fighting against Molly comms. How I wish I had that unit. Yeah, the damage output from this Teomars isn't really looking that good as well. Our top seems like we can tank that all day long. Mm. But 
maybe my synergy... I should have changed my runes a little bit, just that I'm trying to save mana. <laughs> because my top is moving after the Amelia. It should be better if we have our top, our top faster, so that we have the immunity every single time, right? Uh, but doesn't really matter. I think we just go for the heal here. Come on, we need to land the armor break, man, Feng Yan. Oh no. We don't have the clans. Two turns armor break onto my top. Gets the strip of the defense buff as well. Thankfully, no proc. Mm, are we safe though? Okay, we proc the ender buff. I think we lose our top. So Nana gets one stack. We need to kill off Tilmas twice. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. <laughs> Come on, kill. Proc. Yes. Alright, we're good. We're seeing some double pioneers together with the Molong, and we are finally able to bring in our triple oracles as well. So Gianna here should be pretty good. Of course we don't land the bomb. Damn it. <laughs> ah man. Very consistent, you know, this Gianna. Failing to land bomb every aspect of the game. <laughs> no matter what we face, Every time we can't land for some reason, not sure why. Uh, we actually have pretty decent accuracy on it as well. Oh, okay, nice. Finally, we got the bomb off. And I don't really want to detonate the bomb just yet. Let's just place it onto everybody and this time we'll go for the detonation. Get the stun, perfect. And we are just gonna kill off the Nigong here because Molong dies to the... Dot. So once Nigon goes down, there's no more revives on the side. Of course, good dot. <laughs> we don't need the bombs, right? Hmm. Okay, heavenly protection brings back the Molong, but we got strips to follow up. Oh my god, seriously, Gianna? I think it's only like a 20% chance to fail, right? Our Gianna is roughly around... Oh my god, we don't even get the strip. Bloody hell man, this unit. What's wrong with it? I'm not sure. If I'm not mistaken, it has around... Close to 80%. 75 to 80, if I'm not wrong. But yeah, every single time we can't even land bombs. I don't get it. Because at the end of the day, even though they got 100% resistance, it's only like a 15%, 20% chance to resist. We are finally able to hit the net 4 tower, and it's the Trasar, Fuki, and Beta. Let's see their runes. The Beta are actually quite fast though. But I still feel like the Kumun and Lucia Lauren is good. Let's go for the strip. <laughs> of course you don't get it. <laughs> Additional turn twice from this Trussar. Oh my god, we have to heal up Lauren. No joke, no joke. Let's heal up. And let's gain some life steal as well. And we'll probably push back the Trussar here. If we put the beta to sleep. Perfect. And continue working onto this unit. Yeah, we have to land the slow debuff onto the Fuki as well. Freeze. Oh, but he gets the additional turn. We kill off the Trussar first. Even though we got the armor break on the Fuki, I think Trussar has the Atlas stone up. We don't really want him to put the rock up. Then we put um, Beta to sleep again. Okay, good. No damage. He block. Perfect. And then now we can control this Fuki. We go for the heal. Slow the Beta. Alright. Looking really good. Fuki goes down. And then we also got this freeze as well onto the beta. Even though beta gets a revive later, I think doesn't really matter. It's just like a 30% once that unit is brought back alive in terms of HP. And this will actually kill it off. We'll be using our cheesy strat against this Molo Molly and Savannah. This one is kind of old school meta already at this point. And with this team that I bring, I think so far we only lost twice. We'll just go with the unwanted harmony into the molly. Huh? 
the molly cuts in between. My Molong and Harmonia is only two speed difference. <laughs> wow. The nonsense. Okay, never mind. We can go with the Reckless Assault. So the outcome is still the same. As long as the opponent's Molong don't go crazy on us. Please don't stun. Uh, come on, we need one more prop. Nice. We heal up Molong. We got the armor break off. And let's work on to this uh, Water Panda, right? Dragon Dance will definitely kill. We also dismount the Sabana already, which is very nice. We throw the Rock up, and we are good from here. Yeah, Molong is safe. <laughs> Got a little bit scared when the Molly cut in between earlier. It's been quite some time since we saw Atamel on defense, and we'll be able to bring in Nora together with our Gany and Rika. So Nora will be able to do good damage because we'll be placing a lot of debuffs. We'll just make sure that the Elsharian doesn't get an armor break off. Because we do not have good heals on our side. It's just like Nora's normal attack. Mm, yeah, let's just place this one. So we got the heal block off onto the Artamil as well. We'll ventilate up our Rika. Going for another round of Fire Garden Angel. And we need the 3 stacks from Nora here. Oh my god, we got stunned up. So we need to wait a little bit more because my Nora is on despair. But everything is already dying to dots. <laughs> mm. Yeah, let's just seal magic off this Atamel so that no heals. We go with the stuns and this will probably kill off almost everything. Look at the damage. Because we stack so many dots, the third skill from Nora does a lot. I feel like Odining this lineup because Dalgara most likely will be tanking up all the damage done from the opponent's side, really. As long as we make sure that our Odin doesn't get armor broken. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think it should be pretty safe because it's only the gigantic roar from Savannah, right? So we just need to make sure that we got immunity whenever the, the Savannah has that skill up. We lost our first life of the Dagger already, which isn't really looking that good, but we still got heals. So 5 stacks, no attack buff, not enough to kill off the Molong. We'll go for the heal first, because my Dagara will be moving next. Perfect, we got 4 stacks. And then now we just need to dismount this Savanna. And I think it's a definite win. Yeah, we got 5 stacks with immunity, perfect. We just go for the heal, gain more HP. 44k crit, beautiful. And yeah, just keep on giving stacks to our Odin. Come on. Nice. Alright, left this Molly alone. We are just gonna wait for our Riley to buff up. And we got 5 stacks once again with attack buff. I think we can one shot. So this guy's defense, he doesn't have the Nana. So he's using Wusa, Juno, and Savannah. I think one of the first time I'm meeting this kind of defense in that sense. And we have to, as always, kill off the Savannah first. Let's cleanse the Tyrannus. Juno will heal up from here. And we can go for the strip. Oh, okay. Actually, very nice. We missed the strip onto the Juno as planned. <laughs> we needed that to happen so that Juno don't heal up. And we'll just go with the unwanted harmony into this unit. The only sustainer on their side is basically the Wusa. Which isn't really a good heal. So yeah, the heal isn't really that much. And we have to kill off the Savannah. Once Savannah goes down, we can just probably press the auto button, no issues. But they are getting a lot of turns though. Can we strip? Um, yeah, just normal attack. Didn't get the stun, unfortunately. Mm, come on, man. Can we kill? 11k. Nice prop. Alright, Savannah goes down. We are down to our last sword and we are just gonna secure the win with this team, the Tractor, Lulu, and Windy. So we won't really get armor broken, at least for two units. Our Lulu is 100% resistance. This one is gonna take 10 years to fight. <laughs> but please make sure that you got destroy runes on your units to actually win the match because you'll be facing Molly at the end. Uh, this one, no introduction needed. 
pretty standard. You can just run Tractor on Violent or, or even Despair. Mine's on Despair. Just Violent, Despair, Destroy. And you're chilling as tanky as you can with some Destroy runes as well. And you should be fine. Look at the damage on the Teomars already. Once we kill off Teomars twice, yeah, just press Auto. Oh my god, we've been fighting this for 10 minutes. <laughs> Look at the HP done on the Molly already. Please, can we just kill off this? Come on. Oh, thank god. The siege battle has finally ended. We got 9 wins out of 10 and also 310 crystals followed by 264 guild points. This is the map layout at the end of the fight. So we are gonna open up the rubbish box. Oh man, there's no more shiny left. Unfortunate. <laughs> oh. 10 LD pieces though, but 5 blue runes. Man, can't they just give us mana? Need to click 10 times. <laughs> Wasting time. Alright, so that's about it for this one. If you do enjoy the video, please make sure to hit the like button. And also, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing as it helps out the channel a ton. Thank you for all the support, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, stay safe. Peace out.